Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video and this time I'm going to be talking all about the new EV Hummer. Essentially what I'm going to do is sort of attack it from a different angle. So I'm going to talk about this Hummer EV in comparison to the Tesla Cybertruck as well as the Rivian R1T. If you guys are new here, definitely check out my other videos. I have a lot of comparison videos similar to this. Um, of course, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you guys are up to date on my latest videos. And of course, like this video if I haven't said that already. And without further ado, let's start this video up. So as some of this may know, Hummer has actually been around for quite a while. They sort of got big in the early 2000s where you had the Hummer H1s, I believe, you had the H2, and you had the H3. And after that, they sort of stopped. I'm guessing partially because the car may have been selling less and less considering the fact the gas, gas prices are on the rise. That's definitely probably at least one of the factors. But again, either way, they ended up not producing any more vehicles until now. Because we're gonna be looking at an EV, which is supposed to be an electric vehicle, of course. That's what EV stands for. But they're essentially back with an EV to essentially keep up with the times. So I'm sort of gonna compare this to the Cybertruck, as I mentioned earlier, and of course the Rivian R1T, and we'll sort of see how it ranks in comparison to these other vehicles. So looking at the horsepower of this car, we're getting a truck that's gonna be giving us a thousand horsepower. Again, that's what it's rumored to be. It probably could be a little bit less, a little bit more, but that's the genuine range. Compared to the Cybertruck, the Cybertruck is supposed to be getting 800 horsepower. The estimated maximum is supposed to be um, 1,000 horsepower as well. So essentially for both the Cybertruck and for the Hummer EV, you're gonna be getting a maximum of 1,000 horsepower and lastly, for the Rivian R1T, we're looking at 750 horsepower, which is a little bit less than, of course, the 100, or sorry, the 1,000 horsepower that's rumored for both the Cybertruck and the Hummer EV. So, moving on to range, even though the R1T ended up having the least horsepower, I guess you could say that it makes up for it in range because we're looking at a truck that's gonna be getting 400 um, miles of range, I was gonna say 400 horsepower, but 400 miles of range. Compared to the Tesla Cybertruck, which is gonna be getting from 250 up until 500. And lastly, if we're, kind of, if we're going to compare these two vehicles to the Hummer EV, the Hummer EV gets 350 miles of range. So essentially from the best to the last, we're looking at possibly the Cybertruck, depending on what you get from 250 miles to 500 miles in second place or first place depending on how you put it um, you get the Rivian R1T and in last place you get the Hummer EV even though it does have the most horsepower tied with the Cybertruck. Now moving to the prices this is where it gets rather interesting starting off with the Hummer EV we're looking at a car that's going to be just call it $113,000 now, I don't really know the price of the H2 and H3, but I want to say that $113,000 is a good bit of money, and I'm not sure who's actually willing to pay that, but that's what it's rumored to be, so I'll just take it for what it is. Moving on to the Cybertruck, we're looking at a truck that's supposed to be roughly $40,000. So, as we all know, Elon Musk truly enjoys uh, being on Twitter. Uh, I've really only started to recently get on Twitter every once in a while and I feel like he always has something interesting to say and I feel like the way he's very, um, I guess in a way, loose with the way he handles his Twitter, I feel like that sort of transfers over to like the specifics of like his vehicles that are being produced, whether it be the price range, whether it be the number, whether it be the features of each of the vehicles. Because even though this car, so this Cybertruck in this case, is supposed to be $40,000, if we look at the Tesla, I believe it's the Model 3, the price of the Model 3 is fluctuated so much to where it's hard to trust what Elon Musk says until you actually buy one for the price where you know how much it costs. However, moving on to the last vehicle, we're looking at a R1T Rivian, which is going to be worth $70,000 plus. So 
starting at 70,000 and upwards of that. So from most expensive to least expensive, the Hummer is most expensive, followed by the R1T, followed by the Cybertruck, which is gonna be $40,000. So having compared all these vehicles, let me know in the comments below which one you guys like the best. So out of the Hummer EV, just based off the looks, based off the specs, the Hummer EV, the Cybertruck, and the Rivian R1T, all of which are coming out fairly soon, assumedly. Is that a word? I think I just made that up, assumedly. But regardless, let me know in the comments below which one you like best. That's that for this video, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.